Hey guys, this is Adam with Total Transformation Heating and Air Conditioning out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I'm going to take you along today on a quick combustion analysis of a 90% furnace that we recently installed. Um, some of you may ask what combustion analysis is. Well, it's a tool that we use to make sure that your furnace is efficient, firing properly, and that you're utilizing the fuel at maximum efficiency. A couple key components that you want to take in consideration is obviously placement of your probes on your instruments definitely needs to be on the exhaust side of the stack which is connected to uh, the, this is a draft induced furnace means that we have a motor assisting the exhaust and the intake at that point I'm sorry not the intake but just the exhaust placement of the probe is always key you want it uh, at least you know as close to the exhaust source as possible but not too close to to overshoot the exhaust temp at that point uh, pro placement is key. Usually the best advice I give is definitely want to make sure your sensor is located in the right spot. Usually if you go all the way to the back of the pipe till you can't go anymore and pull it back just a little bit so we're about center of the exhaust pipe is a good way to get correct analysis and make sure you're getting efficiency as far as your readings at that point. Um, one key component, I zeroed this unit outside in a fresh air source that way we don't have any kind of carbon dioxide issues or false readings going on always make sure whatever tool that you're using it's always zeroed calibrated and ready for testing before you let your analysis begin make sure before you do your test you always zero the instrument out or run it through its calibration setting that way you're not picking up any uh, inaccurate readings of carbon dioxide or anything that could throw your measurements off it's always a good idea to zero it in a fresh air environment outside. That way you know for sure you've got no carbon dioxide or anything like that giving you false readings. Another key factor is you want to let the furnace run for about a good 10 to 15 minutes to make sure everything's going to stabilize and get to where it needs to be before you immediately start taking readings because you will notice that the readings will jump back and forth until everything is stabilized at that point. Here's a little quick sheet that I put together, just some numbers that we look for in the field. Kind of lets us know what parameters we're shooting for on what type of furnace that we have. As you can see here, we've got a 90 plus efficiency draft induced, which is the equipment that we're working on today. Um, it's been running for about 10 minutes now, and we can take a look at some of the numbers just to see what we're doing as far as our installation process and how close we came to dialing the furnace in. Um, it shows here that we have an efficiency level of 90%, which is this 90 plus furnace, so that is definitely within range. Undiluted carbon dioxide parts per million, we're down around 10, which is exceptional. You know, anything under 100. If you start going over 100 parts per million with the carbon dioxide, it indicates safety issues, maybe block vents, not enough air getting to the system, just lets a technician be a technician at that point to figure out what's going on. Um, if we keep scrolling down our stat temperature, we've got 128 degrees, a little excessive, maybe to adjust that a little bit to see if we can get it under 125 degrees. At that point, we may be burning a little too hot as far as too much gas in there, which this is the before test at this point. CO2 levels, 8.46%, which if we go back on this chart, we're right there around the high side. So with a little bit of adjustment at the gas valve, we may be able to get those numbers right where we want to be. Um, but this just lets you guys know what we do that kind of separates us from the herd, so to speak. Um, combustion analysis is very, very important for furnaces. If you guys are using natural gas, propane in this area, Middle Tennessee, if it's not dialed in, then you're not getting your money's worth. And it definitely, anytime you start talking about fossil fuels, you always have a safety aspect as well. So just make sure that you get your, your furnace annually checked to make sure it's dialed in for proper consumption. Another key factor to a furnace check is to make sure that you've got proper pressure running through the uh, gas manifold. This manifold is rated for about three and a half inches of water column. Uh, by, my, by my manometer, we're showing that we're just slightly above uh, what we're calling for. And one deduction that we did on our previous combustion analysis, it was, we're getting kind of a high stack temperature. Usually on a 90% furnace, you want you know your readings to be no more than 125 degrees in the stack. What I mean by the stack, 
is your exhaust line here. You know, this is what's exhausting from the system. So that's the temperature that we're measuring here. So what I'm going to do is make a couple of adjustments to see how that affects our bottom line to see if we can make sure this furnace is running a lot more efficient and doing what it needs to do. Hey guys, Adam again bringing you guys along again for our final measurements on this combustion analysis test. Already made the adjustments that need to be made to the, uh, to the manifold and to the furnace itself to make sure that we're optimal efficiency. And if you go back over to our measurements here, you can see that we're doing a lot better on the stack temperature. We're definitely below the 125 degrees, which is what we're looking for on this 90 plus efficiency furnace as far as our stack temp. Basically, in a nutshell, what our stack temperature is, is the temperature of the exhaust that's escaping from the furnace through the, through the vent. So we want to keep the heat into the furnace, making sure we're being proper efficient, making sure the heat's going where it needs to go and not up and out the, the vent or the stack at that point in time. Um, if we scroll through real quick, you know, it's showing that we're 92.7, 93% efficiency. We've got a 6.7 oxygen percentage, which our allotable values are between five and seven. Um, we're definitely doing great on our actual parts per million of, of CO. We're well under 100, which is where we need to be. Stack temp, 118, 119 degrees, which uh, on a 90% furnace in the stack, we want to be less than 125 degrees. Carbon dioxide, we're hovering around 7.9%, which our optimal ratings are anywhere between 7 to 8.5% on this furnace. Um, Everything looks good, looks good guys. Uh, this furnace is dialed in and she's running at peak efficiency, but we always make sure that we dial our equipment in when we put it in personally. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can call Total Transformation Heating and Air Conditioning. Phone number is 615-900-6873. My name's Adam. You guys have a good day.